hope all your mothers out there had a wonderful Mother's Day. And today I'm going to show you how you can create this beautiful design that I have here in my nails. This design was inspired by Once Upon a Time. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, but I love that show. And there's an author in the show that is creating problems for everybody. And I was watching it today and I got inspired. And this is the design. So I'm going to show you guys how you guys can create it. Okay, first of all, I'm using my Rejuvico as a base. For my color, I'm using Paparazzi, and this one is called Orchid Crush. And it's a wonderful purple with, um, I want to say, silver shimmer in it. Very pretty. I'm also using this Remo London, and this one is 60 second, and it's called White Hot Love. And it also has, it's white and it has some shimmer in it too. My stamping play, I'm using Hee Hee. And this one is 035. And I'm using this feather here and the words on this side. For my stamping polish, I am using Mundo de Uña Black, which is number two. And I have it messed up with salon express because it was almost empty and i didn't want to waste a little bit of it so i just add a little bit of this here i'm also using this one is lila which is lila and it's number 16. okay okay we're gonna start with the letters here for my scraping i'm gonna use this card it's from fabio nails and also i'm gonna be using my Aliexpress stamper here and I'm going to start with the black there's the words right there okay and I'm going to be stamping it right about here and there it is I'm kind of missing a little bit on that side and I just added a little bit of some letters in it okay I'm gonna be cleaning my stamper here with my limb roller and I'm going to be cleaning my plate with my cotton cloth and 100% acetone. Okay, and that's it. I'm going to if you guys can see it because it's so bright in here I don't understand why it's so bright in here so I'm gonna go ahead and stamp it like in the middle of the other one oh it dried up I'm gonna do that again because it dried up I waited too long so we're gonna go ahead and do it again this time I'm not going to show you I'm just gonna stamp it on my nail so bright in here so I went ahead and turned <clears throat> the plate around because it's easier to scrape this way and and looking at my nail here I'm gonna place 
the feather kind of going twist the side on my other nail. That's the feather, and I'm going to place it right about here. Just like that, that's good enough. I'm gonna add some top coat. Just like that. I am placing some rhinestones on my nails and this wheel I did from that at a store called Family Dollar for a dollar. And I'm just gonna place the purple one right here in the middle of my there and then I'm placing the other one right about here and then we're gonna let that dry and I'm gonna add another coat on my sesh feet but I'm gonna go right ahead and add two little rhinestones in black on this finger here right about here Right there is good. So I'm just gonna let that dry and I'm gonna go ahead and clean up with my, my brush here in 100% acetone. And I'm just gonna clean around my nail, which is not much. Just like that. Good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and add another top coat. Okay, and we are all set. So this is how they look once you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. And if I don't get to your comments soon enough, I will get there. I'm sorry. I work, you know, life. So just know that I read your comments and I appreciate all your comments, guys. Especially those that are forced to watch my videos and I thank you for all your support and your appreciation and just keep watching my videos and give it a thumbs up if you like this design and thank you for watching. Okay, bye bye.